Okay, so once you've got all your trims looking good and your throws are as far as they should be, we're going to go back in here under Flight Controller and Settings, and we're going to look at our channels and make sure everything's still doing what we think it should do. So you should see on your gas and your throttle, um, you should see it go clear to the top and clear to the bottom. Um, you should see that with all of the directions. This goes clear to the top, clear to the bottom. That's my that's my rudder or my yaw. Um, nick and roll, uh, same thing. You should see them go all the way to the top and the bottom. If they don't go all the way to the top and bottom, you've got you've got your trims wrong. There's something wrong with one of your trims. Um, causing that to happen. So check your switches. Uh, the only two switches we're going to really talk about right now is your gear switch and your three position auxiliary two switch um, that is in the upper right. Um, at least that's how it is on my radio. Your radio may be different, may have different uh, definitions assigned to each switch, just depends on the radio. Um, so first thing I just want to try to talk about the, the potties or potentiometers. Um, each channel can be assigned a PODI. A PODI is like a number that the software uses um, and it can be assigned to a channel. Um, it's kind of hard to explain, but like right now, PODI 1 is set to channel 5. Channel 5 happens to be the switch I like to use for height control. Um, that is my gear switch, is the one that I use, and it's on channel 5. So, what I want to do is I want to make sure. I want to go up under configuration and we need to turn altitude control on because we're going to use the altitude control and you can see we popped in another we got another tab up here so first of all since I changed something I'm going to write it so now we're going to be using altitude control I'm going to go under altitude control and I want to make sure the device that I used to set it is PODI1 because that's what my channel 5 switch was. It was designated PODI 1 switch. So if we go back here and I'll show you that again. So PODI 1 is channel 5. Channel 5 is my gear switch. Right now it's on. Now it's off. We look back at altitude. PODI 1 is my set point. So when that switch is on, it's going to initiate the height control. The height control stops the copter from going any higher. That's all it does. It says it does not go any higher than this. So you can give it full gas. It shouldn't go any higher. Um, it cannot be on when you take off. And you should only set it above about five feet off the ground. Um, it doesn't work real well when it's lower than five feet on the ground. But that's how you configure for your height control. Um, I do the same thing then. I go back to channels and I like to use my auxiliary two three position switch to set up my GPS hold. If you have the Navi board and you have the GPS hold, um, I use this switch which changes two channels but that's a function of the radio. I can fix that in the radio. That just means that it's mixed. Channel six and channel nine are mixed together and you can disable that in the radio and assign channel 9 to some other switch if you want. But what I do for that is I like to go under the Navi control here and you see the GPS mode control is set to PODI 2, right? Here it says 0 is free, 100 is position hold, 200 is coming home. It's a little bit confusing. 0 is actually minus, minus 125, 100 is 0, and 200 is coming home. So if we look at, or 125 is coming home, so it's a little bit confusing these numbers. But just to let you know, so um, we go back under channels and we uh, look at what channel this is using. We're using channel 6. Right now channel 6 is set up to PODI 2. So if we go back under the Navi controller, look at the GPS mode, it is set to PODI 2. So with that switch, when we have it in the off position, it's going to be free running, no GPS hold. When it's in the center position, 
it's going to be GPS hold. So it's going to stay where it is. So if you have the height control and the GPS on, it is going to stay right there. It's not going to go up. Well, you got to have your throttle high enough, and it won't go down. If your throttle's high enough and you're not running out of batteries, and it's going to stay pretty close to that, that GPS spot. So basically, that's it. You can play with some of these settings and make sure that it works and, they're, and that they're going the, the switches are going the directions you want them to go uh, for you to remember whether it's on or off. You can invert the switches on your radio. It's a lot easier to do than, than inverting them on the microcopter tool. But that's the basics. There's a lot of things you can do with these. Um, and I will just keep continuing showing some more videos, but that's the basics.